This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 3.1. This chapter is all about transforming graphs. We're going to start with translations. So the general form of all transformations is y is equal to a, f of b times x minus h plus k. Okay, so h and k control the translation of a function. So with translations, we have two forms. We have y is equal to f of x minus h plus k, or we can have y minus k equal to f of x minus h. So f of x is translated by h units horizontally, and we have positive to the right. and k units vertically, and positive is up. So let's look at an example. We have a function f of x. We don't have to state it explicitly, we can just draw it graphically. And we can plot g of x as f of x minus 3 plus 2. So in this case, h is equal to 3 k is equal to 2. So we simply shift right 3 and up 2. Right 3 and up 2. Right 3 and up 2. And since these are lines, we can just connect the dots. And this is g of x. And we have h is equal to 3 k is equal to 2. The domain and range are also translated. So the domain of f is negative 4 to negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 to negative 1. The range is negative 3 to 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. To translate the domain and range, we just add h and k. So we have negative 1 to 2, and negative 1 to 5. So in general, we want to add h to the domain of f to get the domain of g, and k to the range of f to get the range of g. And here's some general information for you. The easiest way to translate a function is plot the original function, if it's not already plotted for you. Translate the key points by h and k. So the key points were the endpoints and the corner. Copy the curves between the key points. And again, if h is positive, we're moving right. If h is negative, we're moving left. If k is positive, we're moving up, and if k is negative, we're moving down. Another skill that you have to learn is determining the translation from the descriptions. So here's an example. Translate f of x down 3 and write 2 as g of x. Okay, so we just write g of x equals f of x write 2, so it's minus 2 and down, minus 3. Here's another one. f of x is translated left 5 and up 4. Notice that these h and k's can be in different orders, depending on the description. So please read carefully before translating. g of x equals f of left is plus 5, and up is plus 4. And the last thing you'll need to be able to do is to determine the translation by looking at the graph. If you're not given points, you need to find a feature to determine the translation. Okay, here's an example. We are given points, so we don't need to determine the feature. If we weren't given p, we could use the peaks or the valleys as the feature. Okay, so we're given p. 
So H equals P X prime minus P X. So this symbol is pronounced prime. So negative two minus negative three equals one. K equals P Y prime minus P Y. And we have negative two minus zero, that's negative two. And we can verify this first. H equals one, right, and K equals down two. So this matches the calculations. G of X equals f of x minus one minus two. Remember that we have x minus h and we have plus k in this formula. So we have to do a minus one. And here's some definitions for you to help you understand problems. The image is defined as the function after the transformation. And the pre-image is the function before the transformation. So normally we would think of this as g of x and this is f of x. And the image and pre-image are defined as the interval given. Since this is the whole domain, it would be the whole domain on this function. Sometimes we're given just an interval such as this. So that would be the pre-image and this is the image. One more example. The following graph is the image of a translation of right two and up three. Draw the pre-image. So this time we have to work backwards. We're not given any points, so we need to use the features. And the feature is a min or a max or a corner. So now we need to move backwards. So instead of moving right two, we move left two. And instead of moving up three, we move down three. And we copy the curve as best we can. And that's f of x. And that completes this lesson.